Lisa here with another Tuesday morning video for you with my third video attempt. I know, right? Ridiculous. But I have a tripod and it totally broke on me. So then I was holding the camera and it was really shaky and crazy. And I was like, what am I going to do? I got to tell everyone about my Tuesday morning haul. So I filmed it just like sitting here and then that looked funny. Everything I've tried today has just not worked out. So I'm trying this video yet again. Um... So I went to Tuesday morning on Monday and today, and I did a small haul there. Oh, here's my tripod not to buy. If anybody knows of a good tripod, let me know. But this one, not so good. Um, let me know what you think. The first thing on Monday I bought were more of these. This is a rebuy for me, but I love these stickers, and I wanted to show them all to you because you've got to go find them. They are amazing. They look good on every project. Um, you can see the SKU number there. They're gold and silvery, 99 cents. Um, and then on Monday, the only other thing I really got when I was there was this flocking powder. I did look at all their clearance stuff because they had clearance stuff for an extra 25% off. And I really just didn't find a whole lot that I wanted, believe it or not. But these are all the little flocking powders that I bought. I've already got them out of the package because I've been playing with them. And I thought they'd be a little, like one of the flower soft. Um, and I was going to show you Flower Soft if you'd never seen it, but now my Flower Soft has run away from home. I know. I tell it to run back, but it never does. Um, so, yeah. If it's not like Flower Soft, will you guys let me know? I do have Flower Soft glue that I thought I would use with this flocking powder. Um, and I'm really excited about it. Um, it is by Martha Stewart. The lady at the store had said that somebody had hidden this behind stuff, and when they were restocking, they found it and put it back on the shelf. So I guess I was kind of lucky to find it because most of the Martha Stewart stuff is now gone from my Tuesday morning. There's very little left. Um, the price was originally $20.59. Their price is $3.99. So that seems like a pretty good deal. I've never really bought flocking powder. I've only ever bought the Flower Soft. So I can't really tell you for 100% that that's a good deal. Um... Also, when I was there the other day, um, what else did I buy that day? That's really all I got that day. Um, I think I bought a couple other things, but nothing major. But today when I went back, I was hoping to find the Martha Stewart Crafts again. And they really just didn't have the glues and stuff. They have a couple punches left. Um, I don't. Ha Some of those you have to have that special device for before you can buy it. And I don't have it, and I'm not going to go searching for it. Um, because I'm not that big of a punch person. I go in spurts. Like, I have my favorite punches that are my go-tos. Um, I know most people are going to say that's sacrilegious, but uh, I prefer my die cuts. Um, anyway, I did find these three washies, which I'm in love with. This one is a little bird one. It's by Little B. Let me show you that skew number. It's on, this, it's on the tape this time, which I think is going to end up being problematic for me. But there it is. But it's got these little birds and the little gold foil. Can you guys see that gold foiling around the birds? So cool. And then I found this one. This one would be better if I had kids, but it's just so cute I had to have it. And there's that skew number upside down. Let's turn that around for you um, if you want to go find that one. Um, and then I found this one with sprinkles. And I put this one back, picked it up, put it back. But then I found this first pad of stickers I'm going to show you. And this one had to come home with me. Can you see why? Right there. That cup of hot chocolate matches my sprinkles. So I had to have it. And then, of course, I have the little sled and the snowman. I'm obsessed with snowmen. You'll see around Christmas, I will start going gaga over snowmen. Love them. And that was so cute. Although, I don't want to think about winter right now. Because in Indiana, winter can go either way. The others, oh, and those were by um, Jolie's Boutiques. I forgot to tell you that. And here's the SKU number for that one if you're interested. They only had one of them, and it's the first time I've ever seen it. So I don't know if that was a new one. These next ones I'm about to show you, they've had forever and ever and ever in it every Tuesday morning I ever go to. So these ones I think will be easy for anyone to find who wants them. They're Jolie Boutique again, 99 cents. I don't think I'd pay $4.39 for these, but I love them. They're little pina coladas and they're cute. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but they were just so cute. I'm sure they will show up in a pocket letter near you. Pocket letters are my new obsession. And then I got this little water spritzing thing. Um, there's the SKU number. Let me get it closer here for you so you can see it a little better. Um, 99 cents. And I thought this would be really good for when I'm doing like my Tim Holtz distress stains or my with my inks when I want to get that real watercolory look. It's just a little 
thing and I thought it'd be really good for that. So I picked that up. And then I found this. I'm working on a bees and beehive theme pocket letter right now and I've been totally stumped on what to do for it. And I found this pocket letter today, which let me get a little closer. You can see it has little bees there. Actually, you can see it in the picture there pretty well. And it's got the honeycomb. So I was thinking that might be good for my pocket letter. Although I've never really done embossing with a pocket letter. I'm not sure how that's going to work out for me, but we're going to give it a try. And um, I might just emboss each of the little papers and then put it in my pocket letter. I don't know. That's coming towards you. And then the only last thing I bought, I told you this was a really small haul were these bottle caps on um, 69 cents. Plus they were orange sticker, although it looks kind of red in my camera, um, but they were on clearance. And I like to give these as happy mail, just as um, goodies, cause you can really decorate them up and do some fun things with them. Um, and then that's it. That's all I got for you today. Now, I am curious what other hauls you guys would like to see. Um, Tuesday morning, of course, I'm already bringing you, but I buy a lot of Stampin' Up. For example, I recently bought these um, tassels and some stickers with this. It's called um, Mini Tassel Assortment, and it's part of their Indian or Middle Eastern collection. Um, I bought that whole big thing. It was like $100, so that was really bad. But I buy a lot of Stampin' Up. If you're interested in learning more about Stampin' Up. Oh, I almost forgot to show you this because it's holding my camera. It is the Core Drawer Collection. And I think it'll be so perfect for our drawers to keep stickers and pins and who knows what. But it's $14.99, so that's a little bit. But if it keeps me organized, it might just be worth it. So let me know what hauls you'd like to see. And if that store is in my area, I will do my best to go there. Um, probably my husband is cringing right now to hear me say that, but I love to shop, you guys. It's so fun. Um, I've also wanted to buy something from AliExpress, but I haven't had a chance yet. So let me know what you think, and hopefully by the next time I talk to you guys, I'll have a new tripod. See you later.